totally unscrupulous. For six weeks, we were under the impression that they were an agency that was helping us to buy an apartment in Spain. They took everything that we had. They even shaved our heads. Yet my hair still hasn't grown back properly, has it? And at that point, they usually send you away to the sanctuary. The sanctuary? Yeah, they call it the sanctuary. Uh, in actual fact, I think it, it used to be a furniture lorry, you know. And how many of you lived in this furniture lorry? 20. 27. And Jeremiah. Yeah, we can't count Jeremiah. He used to be there most of the time. Sorry, who, who is Jeremiah? Jeremiah was the cardinal. He didn't live with us. Uh, he just used to visit us uh, to teach us things um, and to punish us and to have sex with the women. <clears throat> the, uh, this man, this cardinal, visited you and had sex with the women in the furniture lorry? If it was raining. Well, otherwise, we'd do it outside. Why did you have sex with him? Well, he said that it was necessary for him to show us the non-sinful way of doing it. Couldn't he just have explained it to you? Well, he said he could, but that it was a lot quicker and easier to demonstrate it. What did you feel about this, Kenneth? Well, um, I wasn't too happy about it. But he said that it was not to be thought of merely as a physical act, that, in fact, it was... Uh, an important religious ceremony. And what did you yourself feel, Jacqueline? Actually, I didn't mind it, really. But I've always had a bit of a weakness for the ceremonial side of religion. Do you know what I mean? But should they decide that they've had enough and that they want out, they will find that the treatment they receive gets even worse. Well, there was a couple who left a few months before we did, and um, we were told that we must never speak to them again. They were evil, and that uh, if we ever saw them anywhere, it was our duty to creep up behind them and set light to them. So we did. It's John and Catherine that I'm talking about, do you remember? Yes. You set light to two people because the leaders of the Sincere Repentist Church told you to. Well, we tried to set light to them, but our matches were wet. The night before, we'd been doing drowning therapy, you see. I see. Oh, even so, it was a nasty moment when Catherine turned round and saw us crouched down behind her with the matches, wasn't it? Yeah. She got the, uh, the store detective to throw us out the supermarket. <laughs>